Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are on the globe. I'm Megan Applaud, bringing to you Fur News by the Minute. The fluff, the raw, and sometimes the rough. In this week's news, a new study shows dogs can have beauty and brains. Researchers in Hungary studied how a group of six border collies memorized names of toys. In the first of four experiments, Pet owners were asked to teach their dogs six different names in one week. They played with one item at a time while the parents repeated the name. The dogs memorized an impressive 86%. Next, they were taught 12 different words in one week and they scored 87%. The dogs took tests in one month and in two months. Nearly all of the dogs remembered most of the names each time. That is really impressive. Everyone knows that if I meet you in five seconds, I've already forgotten your name. Next up, outdoor dogs may have the law on their side in Texas. A bill is on the table to keep pooches safe while tied up outside. The legislation calls for the dogs to be restrained properly with access to water and shade. It also allows authorities to get involved if there is a violation. The bill has already received Senate approval. If it passes on the House floor, it goes to Governor Abbott. In June, animal rights advocates were enraged after Abbott vetoed the previous version of the bill. He then added it back on the agenda after some changes were made. I'm an advocate of whatever makes the dogs happy. Next stop. A litter of moths is capturing the hearts of many. Ms. Corey Baker posted a TikTok video sharing images of her two dogs and their puppies. Grace with hashtags Oopski and Oreo Retriever, Ms. Baker said it was an unplanned pregnancy. The posts of her husky Zeus and Golden Retriever Chloe were met with mixed comments. Many users said they are adorable, while others were skeptical if it was really an accident. Miss Baker has announced that Chloe has been spayed and now are joined by senior canine correspondent Teddy. He is descended from a German shepherd, Chow Chow, Portuguese water dog, and a papillon. He has something to bark about all the attention on these mixed breed puppies, Teddy. Ooh, looks like you were, I don't know, on a bender. Had quite a few, haven't you? Oh, no, no, of course. Look, people have their own standards, obviously, and there are certain breeds that they don't want to see crossbred, right? Um, but that's just the law of nature. People find each other, dogs find each other, cats find each other, it's love, they consummate. And then you get a teddy. Thank you, teddy. Next stop, if you're looking for a companion you don't have to feed or walk, this may be for you. Amazon has introduced Astro, the code unquote household robot. Though it's named like the dog in the Jetsons cartoon from the 60s, it looks a bit more like Rosie. The device can watch the house and do a number of tasks like carry items. Astro cost about a thousand bucks. Research has shown people take to the technical assistance of robo pets like they do with real fur babies. A survey by a chat software company Tidio shows some humans would even take it further. Out of 1200 respondents, 39% said they would have a romantic relationship with a robot, while 42% would have intercourse. And more than two thirds would be fine with the Johnny number five cleaning, cooking, and doing their taxes. Well, it's no wonder that this world is going to hell in a hand basket. That's a wrap for us this morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are on the globe. I'm Megan Applaud. Be sure to snip out the latest headlines you need to know with fur news from the Podemic Network, brought to you by The Motley Crew. the dogs to be restrained properly with access to water and sh <sighs> oh.
topic I'm about to have an episode. Out of 1,200 respondents, 39% say they would have romantic, what? They would have a romantic relationship with a robot. The legislation calls for the dogs to be restrained properly to access. Ah! Ah! Oh, wait a minute. Okay, why? So if I, what's that about? In June, animal rights advocates were enraged after Abbott the toad. <laughs> Sorry, the toad. Um, that's the wrong syllable. Uh, all right, let me try the wrong emphasis. Anyway, 